Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Level 16 London Town Free Play for Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. And this is the beginning of the fourth and final film, and we are almost what I would call into the home stretch. We do pick up eight of eight compasses and ten of ten mini kits. And to get things rolling here, we're going to go ahead and make a quick recommendation that you have completed the entire story mode. This will give you the first two rows of characters and pretty much everybody you need. But we also recommend you grab Blackbeard. In order to complete this 100%, you're going to want him. So make sure you do that and watch out for Davey. Looks like he's uh, woke up on the wrong side of the, uh, I don't know, whatever he sleeps in. Wrong side of the clamshell, I guess. And, uh, yeah, so if you're new to the series, you're just finding us for the first time, down in the video description there are quick links to all of the mini kits and all of the compass items. So if you're here simply for the collectibles, feel free to just go ahead and dial those in. If you got all the compass items, just go for the mini kits. Click along, click along. That's what they're there for. Right as soon as you get started here, pull out your compass, make your way all the way to the kind of the back left backside. I don't know if it makes sense or not, but... The compass will then lead you right to the first item. Then we're going to take out a couple of baddies that charge in. And then we're going to head over to the second item. Knocking them out quick style, quick fast. That's how we like to roll. So it does say three down in the bottom right-hand corner. But that's because we did pick up a few in the story mode. And we are going to catch up right here with this one. Except for it's going to say four now because it's a new one. But that will be three. And <laughs> sooner or later we'll get caught up. And then at the far end of the right-hand side, once you get those three compass items, you're going to want to go ahead and switch to a female. Oh, wait, what what, what, what am I doing? I picked, I picked a dude. I picked a dude with long hair. Thumby even caught me on that one. What the? Sorry about that, Thumby. Oh, dude, it's cool, man. It's cool. We picked a female now, even though it's the Jack impersonator. It's good enough to get us all the way to the top and get that first mini kit. And I'm sure you saw this silver, uh, silver body over here that you had to rebuild. And once you rebuild it, go ahead and bust it in its face, and it'll be the first of six statues that are silver scattered throughout this little area here. And we'll go ahead. As you can see, there was number two we just blasted on there. And the remaining four along this front left-hand side wall. There's three, and there's four, and there's five, and sixy. Sixy poo. Thank you for the mini kit. Oh, yeah. All right, two mini kits. Look at that. We haven't even left the first room yet. We're under three minutes total video time, and we're kicking it. All right, so over here on the far left side, there's targets. You have to destroy these in order to get uh, through the story mode as well, so you should be familiar with these. Both of them actually drop down some parts, and you should be able to build up into some rope pulleys that only Jack can use. Go ahead and build those up and select Jack and slide up to the top. Now, you do have to do a couple things up there. One of them is not story related. Well, the other two are. You do have to pull the rope here. I actually missed the rope like a maroon and uh, have to jump back up here in a minute. So make sure that when you tumble that big old box down there that you also jump up and pull the rope, which is right above me right now. But we're also going to switch to Serena or Philip and break the glass and head out and grab the mini kit. So look at that, three kits. Oh, to the, yeah. So yeah, you need to jump up and pull the rope. I forgot to do that. It takes, I'm like, a. Uh, why can't I? What? What's going on? Huh? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna double jump to nothing because nothing's up here. And I'm like, uh, what? Oh uh, yeah, now it's sinking in. That's right. Whoopsie. All right, so jump up, pull the rope, and then it'll bring the chandelier down for a swingy. And then we can hop back down and get on that box, and then jump up, and jump on over, and head into the next room. There are a few studs along the way. Climb up to the top. As you can see, we already got the true pirate status. Uh, we assume that most of you have by now, too. Uh, we also have a red hat multiplier video that should be available for your viewing pleasure if you don't have them or want to know how much they cost or where they are or whatever. As soon as you get into the next area, you're going to go down the stairs. And once you get to the very bottom, use your compass to lead you right to the silver objects, which will get another compass point out of the way. And then blast all the silver stuff with your guns. You can use the bombs, whatever you want. Bomb, 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 bomb. But you end up building this, like, lever that goes over here for this slider piece. And the slider piece ends up being kind of like a, a door on the floor, a floor door, if you will. And uh, take out all the baddies because they will continue to just be annoying. I do have the invincibility, extra hearts, health regen, all that on. So it doesn't. it's not like they're going to hurt me. It's just annoying. 
and push the lever back once they're gone and slide up on under there and grab the mini kit and that'll be the fourth one. So you can see we knocked out four compass items so far and we got four mini kits, so four and four. And now we just got some story time, storytelling going down right here. Basically you got to uh, destroy the side pieces, build up this cannon here, get the torch from the end of the hall, shoot the statue at the end of the hall with the cannon, and then shoot the targets off in the distance. Now, I've been running into some of this, and I'm sure you probably have along the way too, but sometimes some of these assets you shoot and they just don't go away. And like, there's been a couple times where the asset has actually been gone, and like it counted like I hit it, but it was still showing. And there's been other times where like I clearly haven't hit it yet. And this is actually one of those times where I have not hit it yet. It's there. I mean, you can see me. I've, I've definitely, my aim is good. I'm hitting this damn thing. But it's not going away. So essentially what we're going to do here is just keep tapping and moving it up and downs and lefties, rightsies. And guess what? Finally, we get it and the money rains from the ceiling. So uh, I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if that's a user error or, I mean, uh, clearly I, I was hitting it. So I, it's hard to say. I'd like to blame myself rather than, you know, a glitch in the game, but more than likely that's happening to more people than just myself. Okay, so climb up, pull the ladder down, and then go all the way up, ride the zip line down, and then instead of advancing going going left, head around the right hand side and all of these glass windows over here can actually be destroyed with either Philip or Serena. And we're going to bust them all up. We're going to start with a couple and then make our way over and get them all from the inside just so that you can see everything. Now, inside there is a puzzle. It's not really a puzzle. It's just more of a, a task. You just got to push these guys into place. And <laughs> I guess maybe it is more of a puzzle than a task because you can't climb over some of those little ledges for some reason sometimes. I flipped the wheel once, which allowed me to use the other pathway. And so I'm going to push this guy into place first, which you guys probably didn't do that. But whatever, it doesn't matter. The order does not matter at all. So place it uh, where it needs to be. Push it all the way until it sinks into place. And once you do both of those, it'll actually open up the doors. And voila! And there's number five. Oh. All right. Now it's just kind of a matter of getting along and getting to that final zip line over uh, along the back side there. Whee! Watch out, that first step's a doze. All right, you make it all the way across and then get these hot bricks all forged up. I found that um, unlike pulling items in this game, the forging, you can actually tap the button. You can spam the button really fast and it'll build way faster than if you were just to hold it. So I wish it applied for pulling, you know, like handles and such too, but it does not. Uh, the, the newer games do, the newer Lego games do. Batman does, Lord of the Rings does, hopefully Marvel will, uh, oh yeah, I'm excited for Marvel, I'm sure you are too, if you haven't already played it, this may be a retro game for you, you may be playing along with it, you may not even be playing this game, you may just be listening to me talk my little ears off, or yours too, whichever, alright, here we are in the, one of the final scenes of this particular level here, and we're gonna wanna switch on over to Marty, or, or, or the, uh, what's his name? The dude throws the bombs. I can't think of his name. I'm sure you're saying it right now, but uh, you know who I'm talking about. And over on the far left-hand side, um, actually, we're not ready for Marty yet. Well, we can use Marty. You can use Blackbeard. You can use whoever you want to shoot the target, which will allow us access onto that carriage. And then use Blackbeard to drop down in by using his powers. And that'll give us a mini kit. These, all these carriages are just loaded. It was crazy. Like, I was starting to stress out, like, when I got towards the end. I'm like, God, I've beat a lot of this level, and I don't have all the collectibles. Like, what the heck? And be careful shooting your gun, too, because you, you'll shoot your, <laughs> you'll blow yourself right off the edge of that thing. So, careful. Careful now. Not that it matters. You don't lose any studs or anything for falling, but mini kit number seven on that far carriage, and then there's another one right here once we build the plank and cross onto this one. There's another one inside there, as you can see, and just scream or sing with Philip or Serena and then drop down in there to grab it. Woohoo! All right, so there's eight down. Now, there's really nothing else as far as collectibles go until we get into the next area, so feel free to use the quick links if you want or watch me bang my little heart out. Switch on over to a swordsman and jump into place and blast them targets and then we'll move on into the next area. Come on, get your blast on. You can pick the items up on the ground, or you can actually, uh, you know, pick somebody with a gun or a hatchet or whatever. Whatever. All right. In 
your face. In your face there, cavalry. All right, we are inside the bar now, and there is uh, actually two rooms inside the bar. In the first room, you're going to want to pull out your compass and select the mini kit. That's actually going to take us up and around upstairs. There's also a bar stool. You can pull out your compass and use the uh, go for the bar stool. It's right there at the beginning. We actually already walked by it, but because we didn't have it selected, it does not show for us. So we'll go ahead and make our way up to the top. So now we got that compass point, so we'll drop down. And, whoop, there she goes into the other room. We'll, we'll go after you in a minute there. But now that we're back downstairs on the bottom floor, we'll go ahead and pull out all compass. Any day now. Seems like there's kind of an endless supply of baddies that come to bother you. As promised, here's the bar stool. Right there at the bar. And then the barrel actually takes us into the next room. I thought I selected the fish, to be honest with you. If you look how it happened, I totally thought I selected the fish. So then I go to select the barrel to see where that is. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Wait, did I select the barrel or the fish? Then I select the fish because the fishy fishy is back here waiting for us. Fishy fishy. All right, so it shows eight, but that's only because we got the final one. The barrel you actually probably already have as well. You need it for the last, well, for completing the story. So um, you most certainly have that. So that should wrap it up. But we will show it to you anyways. And before we go into that next room, we do go upstairs. We blast the target, and then we get uh, a swordsman on both sides of the mechanism. Pull it down, and it drops it. And then you got to kind of be tricky on which one you do. Figure it out. And the left one will end up dropping it and grab that item. And then you can walk down the stairs or be smart like us and jump over. Wee! And then place it there in front of the, on, on the bar, in front of the bartender. And uh, grab mini kit number nine. So we have one more compass item and one more mini kit that we'll be snagging in this next room. Like I said, you already have this uh, compass item. I guarantee it. And it's over here in the far right corner. But we got to show it to you visually anyways. We wouldn't be doing our job right if we didn't. So there we go. Booyah. And now in the back right, we're going to find uh, the spot where we placed the barrel. She goes upstairs, and obviously we need to get up there, and we can see that there is a mini kit finder icon flashing over there as well. And now we'll use this barrel and put it into place. Spin to win. Run, run, run. I do run, run, run. I do run, run. What up, Disaster? Disaster's a good friend of mine. He's actually uh, my neighbor's hetero life mate. That's a best friend for those of you who are not into the Jay and Silent Bob world. Um, or just didn't understand the representation there. But yeah, so uh, Alex, what up, man? Once you're up top, going to go ahead and blast the silver lock after taking out all the baddies and pulling the shutters down. Blast the silver lock, and it'll actually give us uh, a barrel that we can slide along the checkerboard here, which will go downstairs and destroy itself for the final mini kit. Oh, to the yeah. All right, so as always, we're going to finish the level, but that's going to wrap it up for collectibles, so feel free to uh, head on over to the next one if you're, if you're looking for the collectibles, or if you want to hang out and finish the level, you're welcome to do so. We're just going to come up here and cha-cha-cha her until she goes off on her little rampage. And uh, in which we'll need to use the uh, fire stokers here to jump on. Not the Bram stokers, but the fire stokers. And uh, we'll shoot some coal off on so she cannot spin around on that barrel anymore. There we go. you got to jump on it three times. And then we'll knock her off. And then guess what? Chachar one last time. And that's that. So that'll actually bring us to the end and conclude level 16, London Town Free Play for LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. And uh, as promised, we got you all eight of the compass items. And here's the proof in the pudding. See, that was the only item we had was the barrel from the first time. So that was the last one we got. And here we go with all ten mini kits as well. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wee! All right. Look at all that money. All that studdage, and I don't even know what to do with it. I mean, there's still a few, few things we need to buy, but, I mean, that's pennies on the dollar really I mean that's chump change I mean uh, we have so much money I wish we could carry it over to the new Lego games that would be amazing all right well hey if you have anything to say or you just want to be friendly head on over to Facebook Twitter comment both subscribe down below if you feel we helped you out a subscription really helps us out plus it helps us put our brand new videos right in front of your eyeballs for your viewing pleasure of course and uh, yeah you know happy thumbsgaming.com has all sorts of other stuff too we have uh, you know reviews on games reviews on products and we're starting to uh, you know evolve on instead of just being a YouTube channel we're trying to bring you more of the gaming culture so head on over check it out as always until next time 
Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Sorry up.